Hello again. What we're going to do in this episode, actually over the next two episodes, is to fabricate one of these sprint guards. This doesn't represent any particular make or model for any particular car, but it's a full-size mud guard and it could fit a car, it could fit a motorbike. And what we're going to do is use the basic hand tools once again to fabricate that full guard. With this one, it's a fair amount of shape in it and we've just put this little return on it at the bottom so that it looks a little bit, uh, little bit more appealing. But to get it to that stage, and I want to emphasise this with just basic hand tools, that's taken about two hours to, to produce. We'll move across to the block and we'll start blocking the shape into it. Just let's have a quick look at that now and you can see that we've achieved a fair amount of shaping in that by stretching and shrinking in combination. We've used the blocking hammer to do that but because we want a high crown we've used the blocking hammer and we've got a fair amount of stretch through this part here. And of course as you can see also we've shrunk that over there. But what we'll do now is use the sandbags and the blocking hammer to get that centre crown up, stretch that centre crown up in there. Let's take a brief pause now just to compare them and of course this one's in its fairly well in its smoothed up finished state. This one is shaped up, fairly, still fairly rough, but we can, you can see where we've got our actual shape. If you want a little bit more return in it, then it's only a matter of doing more stretching on the return to produce that into a deeper, a deeper configuration. So next stage now is the smoothing up on the whirling machine and perhaps we'll show a little bit on the the planishing, so if you want to see it smoothed up and finished off, tune into the next episode.